In this video I would like to show how you can use card exchange to take photos, show them on the template and store them in the database. In Excel it is not possible to store photos, so we will use Microsoft Access database. That means that for the functionality shown in this video you need to have at least a card exchange premium edition. First we need to create a field in the database that can contain the image data, so we open the database in Access. Switch to the table design mode and add a new field called photo. The data type should be OLE object because that is the only type in Access that allows storing binary data. We save the result and switch back to the data sheet view. Now we switch back to card exchange and open the card definition wizard. We need to create a variable image object on the card design to contain the photo, so let's open the designer. We can add an image object from the insert group in the home ribbon tab. Since this is not a fixed image, instead of using the Select Image button, we type a mapping name in the expression box and press Enter. Card Exchange now inserts a new variable called Photo and asks for a default value. You can leave it empty or select a default image with the Image button. We will align the image object to the right to get a better look. Now we are done with the designer, so I will close and save the result. The next step will be to configure the database connection for storing ID photos, so let's open the data definition wizard. You can see that our card is connected to a Microsoft Access database. We are reading data from the employees table with the primary key ID. Here the last name and first name fields are selected and here we determine that editing is allowed. The last wizard page is called storage items and that is where we need to make changes. In order to store the ID photos in the database, we need to create a storage item by clicking on the Add button. We need to specify a mapping name, and we need to determine in which table the photo will be stored. The primary key of this table is the ID field, and the field we created for storing the photo is called Photo. Normally, storage items are processed when printing a card. For ID photos, however, we want the storage item to be processed when we take a new photo and not when printing a card. We can achieve that by selecting the second option in the value properties. Use the selected column for specials like photos. Now we are ready configuring the data definition and need to continue to the mappings page to finish our configuration. There are two mappings we need to define, one for the visible item on the card and one for the storage item. We will start with the visible item. Select the option Photo in the drop-down menu on the top of the page and choose the database column that contains the image data. We have to indicate that this column contains the image data rather than a file name by selecting the option the database column contains the image data. Optionally, you can set a different cropping ratio than the standard 3x4. Now we will map the storage item. Again, we need to select the photo mapping type with the correct database column and the correct image options. In the photo menu we can now take a photo or we can use the import button.
The cropped photo of Shakespeare is now stored in the database. A common mistake in configuring card exchange is forgetting to define the storage item when the photo should be stored in the database. If you do that, photos that are already stored in the database are still correctly displayed. You can even take a photo and it will be shown on the preview, but it will not be stored in the database and when you switch back and forth to another record, the photo will be gone. Thank you for your attention.